the Doomsday event is coming to Fortnite soon, but what exactly is going to happen? What is the purpose of the Doomsday device that has been found within the files? And what exactly are the spies planning with it? All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you are excited for the end of the season event type stuff that is happening. It's crazy that we're already on week eight, but again, you've probably heard a bunch about this Doomsday event type stuff, but not much has been explained about it. So we're going to be going over what this device is for and what is going to be happening with it keeping you guys in the know with stuff like that it's going to be a very fun video watch it all the way through for all of the info on this new event for the end of the season and of course guys with that being said hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more fun videos coming out in the near future especially helping you out with challenges apparently there are more challenges coming out soon on top of all the other ones we've had and on top of that if you want to help support the channel you can do so by simply using code the llamaser in the item shop in that bottom right hand corner as an epic partner it helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into it because we do have a ton to talk about and you know what let's just jump into it with a recap of what the doomsday device is in case you haven't heard of it yet so basically within the files there has been a bunch of leaks surrounding this doomsday device and basically it is this thing right here yeah it's a pretty interesting device that is for sure but you can see that it's got like four legs it's plugged in through a cord very large cord right there and then there's a sphere in the center of it so just looking at it we can't exactly tell what the purpose of it is it's very mysterious but it definitely looks very powerful and also judging by the name itself if you take a look at the name in the files it says bp12 slash s doomsday device bp12 so again a very intimidating name doomsday device it's got to destroy something also with that what exactly is bp12 well we're not sure 100% but my personal guess would be battle pass 12 I'm not 100% sure how that would work out but obviously we're in season 12 so that number would make sense and then battle pass would actually connect because apparently this doomsday device is going to show up inside of the battle pass lobby that's right guys according to spadicey one on twitter he was able to get into the character trailer for Midas which is obviously going to be the character trailer we're getting next week or not really next week just this coming Tuesday Tuesday. But as you guys know, with the previous rooms in the battle pass of the different agents, like Sky was the most recent one, we're going to be able to get into Midas's room, and apparently the Doomsday device is inside of his room. Now, it's definitely hard to see, but you can tell that in the background right there, that sphere is actually the rounded part of the Doomsday device that we just looked at earlier. There's also like a rounded part over here as well, which looks very similar. So maybe that's like the control panel for the Doomsday device. But again, this is Midas's room and that large area in the background I think also in the files it's called like the doomsday room which just confirms it all even more again this is just a recap of all of the stuff we know so far but what is the purpose of the doomsday device why is it in Midas's room there's so many questions to ask but I'm here to answer them so first of all also in the files were a couple of other things that had the doomsday name tied to them the two of those were s doomsday device hatch and also s doomsday device hatch door and take a look at those right here here. Now, as you can see, the first one, again, is a hatch, sort of cylinder type shape, nothing too crazy, and then the other one is the door on top of it. Now, you may recognize what these are. These just recently showed up around the agency. That is right, guys. There is five of these surrounding the agency, and by looking at the names of them in the files, they are connected to the Doomsday device itself. So what does that then mean? Well, these honestly look a lot like missile silos, things that obviously contain missiles in them, and then the the hatch opens up on top and the missiles launch out of them. Now, considering it's Fortnite, it could be even crazier than that. It could be some form of energy that fires out of these. Who knows? But for now, let's just say that they're missile silos to keep it simpler. But yeah, these are connected. But that then leads to a new question. If they're going to be firing missiles out of these silos, what exactly are they targeting? And there's a bunch of interesting stuff about that because if you look around the bases, there's a lot of unique things about them. So obviously, again, we know that the agency is ghost very clearly you can see it on the front a big ghost symbol so we know that they're going to be targeting more than likely shadow but what of shadows are they going to be trying to destroy that's the question so that got me thinking i started looking around at the other spy bases and things around the map and first of all i took a look at the yacht now obviously this is not going to be the target because it is now deadpool's yacht which deadpool is neither ghost nor shadow technically so they really have no reason to target the yacht because 
because he's just having a dance party he's having fun and also epic games wouldn't involve him in the story so that makes sense also if you were curious deadpool will be in the game for the rest of the season so it's not like he's gonna leave and then they're going to blow up the yacht that doesn't make any sense because looking at the challenges for deadpool there's one that specifically needs the deadpool version of the yacht so again it's not going to go away until the end of the season also there's ghost henchmen there which you know confirms it even more that's not the target now also it's not going to be the rig even though the rig is confirmed to be a shadow base you can see shadow symbols next to some of the doors and stuff like that obviously they're not going to target it because it already exploded it's implied that tiantina was the one to blow it up whether she did it as a part of ghost but honestly i think it was just an accident because she loves tnt hence the name so again they're not going to try to destroy something that's already destroyed that doesn't make any sense now then the shark is a little bit confusing i'm not sure if this is ghost or shadow because if you look at the henchmen they wear like navy blue which again isn't really ghost or shadow and i looked all around this location trying to find one of the side symbols like on a wall or something and i couldn't find it so if you guys know leave a comment down below but either way i don't think they would target this either because it's just sort of like a hideout it wouldn't make a very good target however the final location the grotto is more than likely going to be the target of these rockets now why is that well there's like a ton of reasons for it first of all there are shadow symbols all around this location the henchmen are specifically shadow henchmen you've got a shadow version of brutus as well and i mean just take a look at the location does it not look like the most villain base like if you were to come up with a villain base this is exactly what it would look like i mean look at the side of it there's literally a skull on the side of it so more than likely this is the main base of shadow and i mean you can even look inside and see that they've got tons of controls and things so what are they controlling they obviously have plans and this seems to be the main area or headquarters for the shadow forces making it a perfect target for ghost to try and destroy so yeah i definitely think this location is what they're going to be targeting all right guys but hopping into game here i wanted to take a look at the agency itself let's hop into a game here and see if we can find any clues that points to where this doomsday device can be found inside of the agency because this whole battle pass lobby and obviously um, midas's room is going to be somewhere in here similar to the other characters but i'm pretty sure this is inside of the agency i mean that would make the most sense considering it's like their headquarters so let's go ahead and hop into let's just do a solo match with uh custom matchmaking on just so we can have the area to ourselves and also check out the vault all right so here we are in the match let's go ahead and go down to the agency which is right there and let's see what we can find all right we got some henchmen here as well that we got to make sure to take out there's one we also need to get midas right away so we can get that key card just to check out the vault i don't know if there's anything in there specifically but you know might as well check it out i also like how they have like random pictures of things like just a mug with the ghost symbol on it nice <laughs> all right midas is all the way over here around this corner okay i missed <laughs> that's not good you can't even see me behind the door right there this is perfect and there we go, we knocked Midas, so let's go ahead and grab his key card and also the drum gun, just for the fun of it. Now, looking around here, first of all, there's not, like, a ton of interesting things that pop out right away. However, I do find this statue a bit interesting. Like, it kind of draws your attention, and it's in the very center, so is there anything under here? Okay, you can't actually break under here, which is also very interesting. Usually, you can break through stuff like that, but I guess it is part of the floor, so it's entirely possible that there's a secret entrance under here. And, like, let's break right here. Yeah, like as you can see, it's even slightly lower, which is a little bit peculiar. Something to take note of. I also feel like the basement is something that could be hiding something. But again, I'm pretty sure this is the floor right here. Yep. But again, if I were to have like a doomsday room like Midas, I would think it would have to be underground somewhere, like even deep underground. There could be one elevator that's going to open up and take us all the way down into the room, which can also be seen in the battle pass lobby. I mean, that's how we get into the different character rooms is within an elevator. So that's all we we would need to get into the battle pass room now i want to check out the vault here as well because the vault is also a little bit underground oh gosh <laughs> whoops maybe shouldn't have just dropped right on down there but uh that's all right we're good we're good <laughs> but let's go ahead and open this right here oh we can't build there that's why all right different plan we're just gonna break these right here there we go all right now let's just real quick check out the vault now obviously there doesn't seem to be anything too interesting it's almost like this is a red herring like it's meant to throw people off and obviously it could just be some way to store loot but i mean midas has the key card himself and it only brings us into a fairly simple room it honestly 
doesn't have very much. It also doesn't have an escape hatch, which I find interesting. It's one of like the only ones without an escape hatch. So again, something just peculiar. I feel like there's gotta be a hidden thing that's going to show up within this area very, very soon. And there you can see one of the Doomsday devices, which honestly is pretty big. Like compared to our character, the Doomsday device can definitely do some damage. Like this is the relative size of it. If there is like a missile inside of there, it will be able to do some damage on the map. That is for sure. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the agency itself. But again, all together, it looks like the grotto will be targeted. So I'm super excited, guys. Hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications if you haven't yet, because I will be keeping you guys in the know with that stuff. And on top of that, be sure to check out some of my previous videos, such as on the top left, my Deadpool challenges guide for week eight. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.